We up and I'm feeling like a new me. Stacking new sets, some new E. Uh, NFTs, all of them you need. All of them. Back in my zone like two, three. All time high, hit a new peak. Let's go. Homie, the bulls is back. I said the bulls is back. GM and welcome back to the channel. In this one, we're taking a look at the NFT marketplace called Tensor over on Solana. So this is the leading marketplace on Sol, has the best user interface in my opinion. And I'm gonna do you a basic starter pack here of how to use this thing. Buy, sell, bid, use the sweep functionality and go through all of the analytics on here as well. So if you enjoy this one, make sure you do subscribe to the channel and we'll jump on in. So here we are on the homepage here, tensor.trade is the web address. I'll leave a link for this down below. And what you can see from this is we have quite a lot of info on here. So let's break down the main areas we need to be looking at and what we might want to filter on here to get the best experience. So mainly this is like an advertising banner at the top. If you just scroll down a little bit, you can see the various collections. These are filtered by the 24 hour volume. So the ones that are being most traded right now are showing up in this table, most traded to least traded going down. Now there are two different view types you can use here. This is currently on the table view here. As you can see, this is toggled across and this is the default. But if you want to, and maybe if you're a more visual learner, if we toggle that to card, then this is the view that appears. So whatever's best for your learning style and maybe your pattern recognition, I would select the view that you prefer. But me personally, I like the analytics. I'm gonna go with the table view. So let's just work our way through this main page here we have the trending collections currently on view you can see there's also a new mints page which is quite interesting as you can see the newly minted collections if you toggle that one the data being shown here across the top bar all of this data is based on 24 hour metrics but of course if you want to break that down to hourly or seven day you can do so it depends on what kind of visualization you want but i'm happy with the 24 hour standard practice here so what we have is first and foremost the collection name so this would be mad lads just just below this number here signifies how many NFTs are in said collection. So there's 9,967 mad lads in total. Then we have the floor price here. What is the floor price? This is the lowest price at which an NFT in this collection is currently listed for sale. So you can think of this as the cheapest price you could purchase a mad lads for right now if you wanted to come and buy one straight out the gates. Now over to the right hand side, you have market cap. Now this is simply the floor price here multiplied by the number in the collection will give you the market cap. And this is quoted in Solana. So Sol is the denominator here. Current price of Sol is $61. And the market cap of this collection is 1.651 million Sol. Now, if we direct your attention to the sell now area, the red text there, this marketplace allows for people to actually place collection bids. So that means that on Madlad's collection, people are literally bidding 160 Solana for them right now. So just like on an order book of an exchange for tokens, there's an actual pool of liquidity sat there where people are saying, I'm ready and willing to pay 160 Sol for one of these. And if someone wants to sell directly into that, they can click the sell now button and exchange their NFT for that amount of Solana. And so it makes sense that the sell now price is slightly below that of the floor. This is essentially the spread between the floor and the bids in the market. Other details on here, 24 hour volume, again, quoted in Sol. 24 hour price change that is obviously 10 percent to the upside as it is denoted in green if you go down to this one here you can see kex are down 13 percent as it is in minus and in the red there the number of sales so how many of this nft collection have been sold in the last 24 hours as we have already seen the market cap total volume traded overall so that is for the lifespan of the collection and how many are listed as well which is quite interesting 400 listed out of 9967 so not exactly a lot of liquidity there and not a lot of willing sellers at the moment so if you find a collection you like just click on the name and we'll jump into mad lads for this one so what we're going to do is just start from the top and run through all the information on here pretty much so as you can see the collection here with its logo is mad lads as denoted by the name they've also got their socials their website their discord links all here so if you want to get involved with the community or see more information about them you would just click on one of these 
The crown here is actually the amount of royalties. This essentially is like a tax that is taken by the collection. As you can see for Mad Lads, this is 4.20% or 420. So whatever the sale price is, that will be deducted and would go to the team. Just to the right then, we have the buy now price and the sell now price. So this essentially is the spread on the market. If I just direct your attention to the bottom right where I'm sitting, if I just nuke myself, you can see the order book there on the bottom right hand corner and the difference between the bid and the ask there, 160 to 176. And so as you can see, a lot of this data is just pulled from the main page that we saw earlier, listed versus supply there, 401 listed NFTs out of the 9,967 collection, gives you the percentage listed there as well. And to the right hand side, we have the activity log. So this is all the recent trade activity, the buys and the sells. So you can get a good idea from this data, are people aping in and buying? or are mainly people selling. And as you can see, a sea of absolute buys in here, a few sales, but mainly buys are currently outweighing the sales overall, I would suggest. Hence, we have the price action, as you can see on screen here. So what I love about this is the actual interface here, which shows you the charting data and gives you loads of analytics. Now, there are two ways to actually view this. You can do the more simplified version. So if I direct your attention to the bottom down here, you can see a light slash pro. Currently, we're on pro. And this, for me, just makes the most sense if you're trading NFTs actively. If you're looking to maybe just buy a new profile picture and you really care about the aesthetic a lot more, maybe the light mode is for you. Let's just toggle that on so you can see it. So there, that is the light mode. So as I say, if you are looking for a specific profile picture, maybe to use on your Twitter account, maybe this is what you'd want to do. Find specific traits and really look at what kind of artwork you're getting. But for the traders, I would suggest the pro mode is a lot more beneficial. And I think it's more interesting if we just continue with the pro mode overall here. So back to that charting data. So as you would have seen with any crypto based chart for a token, they've got the same data here, but for the NFTs. So this makes it quite obvious and easy to spot trends, to spot breakouts and see if things are bullish or more bearish for a said collection. What I'm going to do is pull this to the daily and we can see the full history of Mad Lads here. Let's just move this across a bit and I'd like to adjust the chart a little bit larger. Maybe we'll move this data down as well. As you can see, a lot of adjustments can be made. I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. So what we can see here is that Mad Lads is on an absolute run here and that the Solana NFT ecosystem is going bananas. This is the biggest collection by total cost and I think by total volume as well. And so this thing running here is probably a good signal for the rest of the market. As you can see, the volume down there is started to really tick up as well and price going through the roof. So if you want to add indicators, all that good stuff that maybe you do on normal trading of tokens, you can do that here as it's pretty much a standard trading view interface. Then we have to the bottom side here, if I just make this a little bit bigger, that orange line that is going down is the amount of listings. So that is the amount of this collection that is actually for sale. So as that goes down, it would make sense that price has gone up. It has a bit of an inverse correlation there. As more people are buying, they're likely buying to hold this thing as they think it's gonna go up more. And so less become available on the open market. NFTs are highly illiquid and therefore you see the big price movements as the amount for sale goes down and down and down. Now, if you lose any of the features on here, they're easily retrievable. So as you can see, there's this kind of eye slash hidden kind of emoji up here. So if we click that, it's gonna take away the activity log and also the order book here. So I'll click it. And as you can see, that disappears. If you wanna make it reappear just behind me here, I'll just remove myself once more. You can see this tab here, it says activity and order book, click that and it brings it back online. Now in the middle, towards the bottom here, you can see these various areas can be ticked. So currently we have the items that are currently being traded in here. So these are the ones that are actually for sale. We can also see bids if you click on this button here. You can see the orders. So this is people placing either buys or sells, or you can do a trait filter on here as well. A lot of information for you to actually play along with. We'll go back to items, however. And so say we want to buy some of this collection here. This is the cheapest one listed. This is the second cheapest one listed, third cheapest, so on and so forth. If I wanna buy this specific NFT, I'll click on him. There is also a buy button here, 
or to the top left hand side where it says sweep one NFT for 176.79 Solana. I can also select multiple NFTs by just clicking on them. It doesn't have to specifically be in order. If there's particular ones I want to buy, I can click on them. And as you can see, they're adding up into my total here. If I just remove this back to zero, you can also use the sweep function. So the sweep function allows you to buy multiple at a time, either slide it or use this to increase it by one each time. And as you can see, that would sweep 13 of the floor NFTs. So it's gonna buy me the cheapest ones and 13 NFTs right now would cost 2,344 sol. If you wish to then complete the purchase or the sweep, you click on the button here. It's then gonna show you the transactions it's looking for you to approve. It would ask you to approve it. I do have insufficient funds at this moment. And then it will ask you to actually approve a transaction in your wallet. The Phantom Wallet, this one you can see on screen here you would need to be logged in and approve said transaction and then the nfts will end up in your wallets now if we just remove all these the inverse happens for a sell so this is where if you own the collection that is actually shown on screen here you can start to list your nfts for sale currently i don't have any so that's not possible but it's just literally the same process as buying but you can select whether you want to sell into the order book where people have placed bids or alternatively you can set the price at which you wish to sell your nft also to know if you do have NFTs and you wish to sell them, they will appear if you just toggle across by your wallet and then go to inventory. Your NFTs would show in here and then you can select them, select whether you want to sell them into the current bids on the market or whether you want to sell them at a specific price. And then you would just need to confirm transactions in your wallet to get those sales or those asks listed. So we've seen the main interface there on the trading venue, how to buy, how to sell, how to sweep the NFTs but how would you search for some potential gems here? Well, if you see this button here, hot new mints, and we click that one, what I would do is look through these and then filter maybe by volume. And so we want some decent volume on here. If they're not trading any volume whatsoever, so less than say 10 sol or 11 sol, that's only like six, 700 bucks. We wanna filter those ones out. And then what you can see on here is these newly minted. So these are ones that have minted within the last like 48 hours, I believe it is. So new collections to the market. And I would specifically be looking for very cheap collections that have just minted and that are just going through a kind of an initial dump. And then maybe trying to see if I can trade them to a higher price at a later date. That will require a lot of research you want to find out what exactly some of these collections do we'll just click on this one here the salami heroes as an example go into their say twitter profile find out more information on this collection i did look at this earlier this was a free mint that happened around 24 36 hours ago check out the lower time frames here maybe on the five minute chart here and get an idea what has happened here have people been buying these off the floor? Is their bid coming in at a specific price? Could you look to flip this collection? But what I have found in the NFT world is generally the winners just keep on winning. So if we just go back to the 24 hour volume, the assets that reprice themselves the quickest, the ones that clearly large investors with big money have started to buy, these are now the blue chips of this ecosystem and are likely to continue leading the way. So typically you would want to maybe flip some of these smaller collections if you can make some profit and look to buy into the more expensive ones if you currently can't afford them. Of course, all of this requires your own thought and input as to what you're gonna try and do here. Are you just looking to collect a couple NFTs, maybe use one as a profile picture, or are you trying to seriously trade this market? That of course is all up to you. None of this is meant as financial advice. Just wanna show you how the user interface works on here, as I think this is the best Best NFT marketplace for traders on the whole of Solana. So hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, smash a like on today's video. Drop me a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Now a quick shill from me, we don't do this very often, but NordVPN, you're going to need a VPN and Nord offers the most comprehensive packages here. And the one I've pulled out here is the threat protection package. So with this, you have things like anti-tracking, anti-malware, stops you from downloading malicious stuff. Maybe if you're a bit tired, for example, clicking the wrong button could get your wallet drained. This is definitely a good first step for protection. And obviously having a VPN is also very important. Myself in the UK here, geo-blocked from many different 
DeFi sites right now, which is kind of ridiculous. So you have to have a VPN anyway. So highly likely you're going to buy a VPN at some point. Check this one out, link down below. Of course, that will help me out if you do purchase through that link. End of shill.